Hi everybody, it's me, Mr. Valvano. She's over there. I know she's more popular than me. <laughs> and we are here on a gorgeous Sunday evening with story time for you. And my hair is crazy. Anybody else need a haircut? Oh my goodness, I need a haircut so bad. Um, I hope you were able to get outside and enjoy some of the beautiful weather. Um, I was happy to go out here by the waterfront and see people following all the rules today and, you know, not being, you know, careless. Um, so that was good. So maybe there's some hope. All right. Uh, she just finished her dinner. I'm going to eat my dinner after I finish the story time. This book was sent to me by my friends Daniel in kindergarten and his brother Hunjin in fourth grade. So Hunjin and Daniel, I hope you guys are enjoying story times and thank you for sending me the worst book in the whole entire world. It's the worst book in the whole entire world by Joey Aker. All right. The worst book in the whole entire world. Congratulations. You are now reading the worst book in the whole entire world. I bet you are wondering why this is the worst book in the whole entire world world. Are you sitting down? Because you're about to find out why this book is the worst. Reason number one, there is only one sentence on every page. except for that page. <laughs> oh, and that one. Awkward. Reason number two. Remember that super awesome red balloon on the cover? It, it, it blew away. I was trying to read it in reverse on the screen, but it wasn't working. Reason number three, there are gross words in this book. Booger, stinky, toot, booty. <laughs> so silly. Booty? Booger, booty, stinky, booty, toot, booty. Oh no, now I remember. Just don't turn the next page. Seriously, put this book down and walk away. I'm leaving. What is she doing? What are you doing? Are you trying to escape? What do you smell? I think she smells somebody is barbecuing outside. Look at her. Look. Trying to smell the barbecue. Okay, let's read this again. I'm sorry, we got distracted. Okay, he said, don't turn the next page. Should we turn the next page? Okay, what is it gonna do? Booger toot, stinky toot, toot booger, stinky booger, toot booger, stinky booty. I told you not to turn the page. Must we go on? Should we go on? I think so. Are you absolutely positive, most indefinitely sure you want to keep reading this horrible, horrible book? You chose poorly. At least I warned you. Reason number four, I am all alone. I am the only person, place, or thing in this book. That's called. 
a noun. Well, that's just great. Reason number five, this book is educational. Is this book the worst or what? Uh-oh, what is this? this? Looks like a boot coming at his head. All right, it hit him in the head. Reason number six, you're not alone. Ha 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 ha. Reason number seven, this book is not funny. Ha, 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 Wait, what's that? What is that? It's a big eraser. What do you think is going to happen? What's going to happen? No! Bye-bye, booger booty. Maybe this isn't the worst book in the whole entire world. Uh-oh, look what's coming back into the picture. Reason number eight, the end. He didn't get erased, he just flew away on the balloon. That was pretty funny. Good choice, Hunjin and Daniel. Thank you so much for sending this. All right. I hope that you have the, a good rest of your Sunday and that you have a good night's sleep. And I'll be back in the morning with prayer and virtue picks. I miss you. I love you. And mwah, see you in the morning.